start with DA Carmack Altweiss. What evidence exactly convinced you to charge Baldwin in this case? Well, there was really a totality of the evidence. Um, Mr. Baldwin had a duty at, at the base level to never hold a gun and point it at a person while pulling the trigger. But he also had a duty um, as an actor and a producer on that set to have the bullets checked or to check them himself to make sure that they weren't live. And he had a, a duty to um, make sure that the set was a safe set. And we know from multiple accounts that it was not a safe set. He should have known he should have done something about it. So it was all all of that that led to the decision to charge him. Well, hello, kitties. It's your friendly neighborhood watchman here with you today to cover our favorite Hollywood narcissist and anger management failure, Alec Baldwin, with an article from the New York Post by Josh Kosman and Stephanie Pagones with the heading Criminal Charges Against Alec Baldwin Dropped in Fatal Rust Shooting. I'm sure many of us are not surprised, but without further ado, let's jump into this article. Criminal Charges Against Alec Baldwin Over the Fatal Shooting on the Set of His Movie Rust Have Been Dropped According to His Lawyers. Baldwin, 65, was charged with involuntary manslaughter over the October 21, 2021 shooting of 42-year-old cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the New Mexico set of the Western movie after a prop pistol he was using for a scene unexpectedly fired a real bullet that magically appeared inside the gun. He pleaded not guilty to the charges brought by the Santa Fe District Attorney. Real bullets that should have never been allowed on the set. But I digress. He pleaded not guilty to the charges brought by the Santa Fe District Attorney. In a statement to the Post, Baldwin's lawyers Luke Nikas and Alex Spiro said, quote, We are pleased with the decision to dismiss the case against Alec Baldwin, and we encourage a proper uh -huh, investigation into the facts and circumstances of this tragic accident, end quote. We know what the facts are. It's just as a two-tier justice system in this country. Russ director Joel Souza was standing behind Hutchins, viewing a camera angle as Baldwin rehearsed a scene in which he was to draw his revolver and point it at the camera when a tragic incident occurred. He was also wounded in a shooting with the bullet striking his shoulder. The unfortunate victim, Helena Hutchins, cinematographer, the asshole, and the asshole wife, Mrs. Atto. Filming for the movie is due to resume in Montana this week. Well, isn't that lovely? A second person accused of involuntary manslaughter alongside Baldwin, the film's former armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, is still facing charges in connection with the shooting. That's not a surprise. Let the star get off but not an employee behind the scenes. A third person involved in the onset catastrophe, assistant director David Halls, previously pleaded no contest to a single count of petty misdemeanor negligent use of a deadly weapon. <laughs> Alec Baldwin fired the damn weapon, and he gets off. Typical elitist bullshit. He had handed the gun to Baldwin before it was fired, but neglected to make sure the gun didn't hold live bullets. Baldwin should not have pointed it at any human being, and he should have also checked it himself. But why share the blame? After Hutchins had been shot, she was treated at the scene and then transported to the University of New Mexico Hospital, where she died. A spokesman for the Santa Fe District Attorney's Office did not immediately respond to the Post's request for a comment. Yeah, I bet they didn't. Despite Baldwin claiming he had never pulled the trigger of the gun, FBI investigators determined there was no other way the shot would have fired. 
Investigators who scoured the rust set described finding a combination of live rounds and dummy bullets around the set, a blatant safety violation. Earlier on the day of the shooting, the ammunition was left on a cart on a set not secured while the crew took a lunch break, previous police documents said. The gun, the agency reported, ruled, could not be made to fire without a pull of the trigger. In January, a special prosecutor argued that Hutchins would be alive if proper steps had been taken. Yes, we, we know this. If any of these three people, Alec Baldwin, Hannah Gutierrez Reed, or David Halls, had done their job, Helena Hutchins would be alive today, special prosecutor Andrea Reeb said. It's that simple. And yet, and yet to date, the only one cleared and had charges dropped was the star, Alec Baldwin. But I'm sure that's just a coincidence. Reeb later stepped down from the case after a challenge from Baldwin's lawyers, who argued her role as a New Mexico lawmaker prevented her from also acting as special prosecutor in the case, as it would violate the state constitution. Mm -hmm. Hutchins' family sued Baldwin in February. They argued that he was at fault for Hutchins' shooting death because he was the person holding the gun. The family's attorney, Brian Panache, said it was clear what happened. He had the gun. He says he pulled the hammer back. It fired and she was killed. The experts will look at it and make any determinations, but we don't think this was caused by any defect in the weapon. Baldwin is seeking to have the lawsuit dismissed. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's buried under the rug like we buried the poor victim now having been buried over two years ago. Head on to the comments section and read a few opinions. From Paid Observer we have, I predicted this from the get-go. He will get the standing ovation at the next awards show, which of course he'll attend. I wonder who really caved on the charges being dropped. Money talks and Baldwin walks. A fortunate but true. Next from Missing Meme. So basically Baldwin powered down an underfunded local DA's office and then ran out the clock by following carefully timed motions to get attorneys displaced without their replacements having time to prepare. Definitely how an innocent man looking for real vindication operates. Yes indeed, when you have all those strings to pull, you pull them. When the choice is between incarceration or freedom. And last but not least, from anything goes. So, any person in this country can make a whole movie in their backyard, invite over someone they want to murder, and proclaim to the world, quote, I didn't know the gun was loaded. We checked it multiple times, end quote. That right there is equity. It is truly unbelievable. He is going to get away with this completely. I agree, but most of us know our justice system is not truly blind. Some people get preferential treatment, be it celebrities, politicians, or billionaire donors, especially if you're on the left. <sighs> well, folks, with that said, we've come to the end of this video. Please comment, share your thoughts on these current events, and hit that like button. And subscribe if you haven't already to help out the channel, and hit that notification bell so that you'll always receive a heads up for whenever I'm about to mm, drop another video. And as always, stay safe and I bid you peace.